black owned beauty brands that we absolutely adore that we should be supporting not just now but always here are some of our favorite black owned beauty brands for you i'm gabby conti i'm brona walmark this is glam wire and stay tuned because we're going to show you a before and after look you need for your glam routine the beauty world is so massive, so you would think that everyone would feel represented within their products. Turns out this is usually not the case, as when we started putting makeup on our faces, deeper and darker skin tones haven't been represented. A few beauty products were even made with darker skin tones in mind, thinking that only one dark shade should fit all darker skin tones, which as we know is not the case. Luckily, there has been a lot of progress made, and there is more and more products being made for all different skin tones, which is great. So now in the middle of the Black Lives Matter movement, which is strong than ever, America is getting a wake-up call on how important it is to support Black-owned businesses, which is why here at Glamwire we thought we'd tell you about a few of our favorite Black-owned beauty companies. We don't have time to go through every single one, there are so many, and also I would urge you that if you are interested in this, to do your research. A lot of magazines and websites have been putting lists on. These are just a couple of ones that we are familiar with, but of course there is many more, and this is very important to be, be supporting not just now, but always. Yeah, of course. I, I totally agree with that. It's so important to, you know, just... It, not only represented now, but like you said, always. Always, and it is, it is crazy when you think of the progress of, of beauty lines and thinking about that when makeup was made just you know only by pe people who weren't of color, that they weren't thinking that there was more skin tones and shades, mm -hmm. and there really is. So one black owned beauty company that we love is Uoma Beauty. We love their statement of their website that this is not multicultural beauty, this is simply beauty, and all are welcome into this beautiful tribe. Founded by Nigerian boss Sharon Tudor, this brand offers shade inclusive foundations, vivid lip colors, and their new brow fro pencil, which is truly amazing. We also love Fenty Beauty, that's probably one of the more well-known ones, Rihanna's beauty brand, which offers top-of-the-line products for all skin tones and has an incredible setting powder that is so great at eliminating shine and keeping makeup in place. Also, all of her products come in like really beautiful packaging. There is also Pear Nova by Rachel James with nail colors for every complexion. Not only is this line a favorite of actress Issa Rae, the names of these colors are truly amazing, like Clea Effing Patra or <laughs> Diana Boss. There's also Apara Skincare, a luxury skincare line that started in a kitchen and is now available at Barney's. This line features formulas with African botanical ingredients. And speaking of botanicals, that is what you'll find in Abba Love's Apothecary products. That and antioxidants without any synthetic fragrances or chemicals or parabens, which is, might explain why these products really do heal the skin. As we said before, these are just a few products that we thought were pretty cool. There are so many other, other lines. And yes, definitely like be aware of where your makeup comes from and also to stop supporting lines that aren't inclusive, mm -hmm. you know? I think it's a big red flag if a makeup line is only has three shades of foundation or whatever. Yeah, that won't work for anybody. That won't work for anyone and that's just like, that's showing that their mindset and their mission statement is not in inclusivity. Right. Well, what is your favorite beauty line? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Brenna Walmark. This is Glam Wire, your 24-7 beauty news. Hey guys, so I'm going to be trying this product I saw at Target a few days ago and it looks absolutely amazing. This is the Coco Kind Turmeric Mask Stick and this company is all organic. There's no sulfates, parabens, you know, etc. So everything that you're putting on your skin that's in this stick is all natural, which I was absolutely, you know, intrigued by and I really wanted to try it. And it claims to um, unclog your pores, uh, smoothen your skin, and help with like dark spots. And I was like, this is absolutely amazing. And this was about like $8, so, you know, really cheap. And I just thought this was super cool, super cool product. So I'm going to just open this up and give you guys my honest review. So it's yellow, and I know that's because of the turmeric. And turmeric, I know, is known for helping with like dark areas of your skin and helps with inflammation as well. So, smells organic, smells natural, smells like everything that I just listed. And I think the yellow is super cool. Um, I can't put it on my face, but I'm just going to kind of apply it on my skin just to get an idea of the texture and whatnot. So, and it says to leave this on your skin for about 20 minutes and then just wipe it off really lightly with like a damp cotton pad or a washcloth. And I think this is so cool. Um, and I love that you could just stick this literally in your bag and go to a sleepover or something and then you guys can just 
put like what looks like glue on your face, but it's not. It would beautify your skin and brighten your skin. Go try it, go try the matcha one, go try the other one. I think it was like pink, it had like grapefruit in it. And let me know what you guys think. I'm Brianna Walmark, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.